Hello everyone, Ryan Baxter here, and I'm back again with another video about Bluemix. And this time we're going to be talking about uh, deploying a Bean application to Bluemix in a single click. Now, uh, Bean stands for Mongo, Express, Angular, and Node.js, and it's a very popular stack for JavaScript developers to build web, web applications on. Um, while it's possible to put this stack together by yourself, there are several different open source projects out there that will automatically scaffold out a, a mean uh, project for you um, uh, automatically without you having to actually do it yourself. Uh, Mean.js is one of those open source projects that is available. Uh, it's a pretty popular one. Um, and I've been working with uh, the Mean.js uh, project to make it a little bit easier to deploy to Cloud Foundry and Bluemix um, so people can get their Mean.js applications up in the cloud uh, much easier than they were able to in the past. Um, so the first thing I've done here is, uh, if we go and look at the code, the project on GitHub here, um, uh, we'll see that there is, in the README now, included instructions, uh, in addition to instructions on how to install and, and run Mean.js locally, um, uh, instructions on how to deploy the application to Cloud Foundry. So if we scroll down here, we'll see a section on deploying to Cloud Foundry. And if you read through here, basically, it, uh, the first uh, section demonstrates uh, how you would uh, deploy uh, the MeanJS application using the Cloud Foundry command line tool to any Cloud Foundry deployment. In this case, we're specifically talking about Bluemix, but it can be deployed to any Cloud Foundry um, uh, deployment out there. Uh, but instructions here basically show you how to use the Cloud Foundry CLI in order to do that. And there's nothing hard about doing that. It's very easy to do. There's nothing um, unordinary about the commands that you're going to use. Uh, for a no, uh, uh, to deploy a node application here to pretty much uh, just like any other node application deploying to Bluemix. So um, that's pretty simple. But as we know, um, with Bluemix, we have the deploy to Bluemix button, which allows uh, you to deploy an application to Bluemix with a single click. So if you're a Bluemix user, uh, it's fairly easy to do this. Uh, one, once you're in the README here, all you got to do is click the deploy to Bluemix button. And this will bring you out to uh, IBM DevOps Services. And if you're already signed into Bluemix, uh, it will display your um, uh, organization in space here where you want to deploy it. Um, or uh, if you're not signed in, then you just have to sign in first, and then you'll get the options here uh, around which region, organization, and space you want to uh, deploy to. And obviously, if you don't have a Bluemix account, you can go ahead and create one for free. Uh, and try this out for free as well. So I'm going to deploy to my organization in my dev space, and I'm just going to click the deploy button here, and that's all I really need to do. Uh, Bluemix is now going to go ahead and do a couple different things. In addition to getting the mean.js application up and running in Bluemix in the cloud for me, uh, it's going to create a project in IBM DevOps Services uh, with a Git repository, including all the code from GitHub, um, and it's also going to configure a uh, build and deploy pipeline uh, to um, uh, to deploy that project to Bluemix automatically for me. So now I, uh, at the end of this, I will have a, a working application running in Bluemix. I'll have a project uh, as well as the source code set up in IBM DevOps Services and a build and deploy pipeline already set up to deploy that project so that whenever I start to make changes to my mean application uh, and commit them to my source code repository, uh, it will automatically deploy those changes right to Bluemix for me. Um, so I have a complete end-to-end um, uh, -end operation set up uh, in the cloud for me uh, in, a, in a single click. So uh, the deploy to Bluemix part will take a couple minutes to run um, for the for the Bean.js application. There's a, a number of different NPM deposit, uh, dependencies that need to be downloaded and installed uh, for this application to work. So it takes uh, just a couple minutes for it to, to finish deploying. Uh, so just be patient. Nothing's going wrong. You just got to be patient for it to finish. Okay, and after the deployment finishes, the first thing you probably want to do is check out the application. So let's go ahead and click the View Your App button. And this will bring you to your working mean.js application running inside of Bluemix. So um, uh, the home page here will tell you exactly how to use this application. Again, it's just a sample application. Uh, but basically, the first thing you want to do is sign up. So you can set up and create an account. Uh, and the mean.js application uh, uh, allows you to sign in with several different social accounts. Now these won't work out of the box. Uh, when you use the Deploy to Bluemix button, you actually have to set uh, up these services uh, in order to make them work. But luckily I've also written instructions on how to do that. 
So if you go back to meanjs.org and go to docs and um, the 4.0 latest uh, documentation, go to Cloud Foundry here, you'll see, uh, in addition to the instructions on how to deploy it, uh, you'll also see uh, instructions on configuring the social services, so you can see how to configure uh, Facebook, Twitter, Google, etc. Um, basically, this all involves uh, creating uh, user-provided services and then binding those services to the application in Bluemix. So it's just a little, a uh, couple of steps you need to take after you've already created the application um, uh, in Bluemix itself. Um, but you can follow these instructions on how to do that. Um, here, uh, but in addition to using the social services, you can actually create your own account here without using one of those services. So you can just fill out this form. So I'll fill out uh, my uh, information here and uh, create a username and password. And click sign up. You can see you get an account created here. Uh, so I now have an account uh, created, and I also have the ability to now uh, view articles. Uh, so this is just a sample kind of uh, uh, CRUD uh, type of sample that shows you how to perform during CRUD operations, save, create, read, update, and delete uh, uh, documents to the Mongo database and display them in the UI here in the web application. So we don't have any articles yet, but I can create one. I'm going to say this is a demo article, and uh, this is demo content and click submit query. This will create uh, a demo article here which I can then delete or go back and edit if I want to. Um, so just a basic CRUD type of situation here uh, uh, for your web application so you can build upon how this works to build your own type of uh, um, uh, CRUD operations into the application itself. There's also a sample chat application here where if there are more users of the application then you would uh, this would be a little bit more interesting, but um, you can uh, have a working chat example here as well. Um, and uh, as far as the account information goes, you can do things like your, edit your profile, um, change your profile picture if I wanted to change my password, uh, connect up different social networks once I have those enabled, etc. here. So um, that's it for what the MeanJS application gives you. Now let's take a look at what the Deploy to Bluemix button did. So obviously I have a working application uh, deployed to Bluemix, so I can go ahead and view that application in my Bluemix dashboard. So if I go to the dashboard over here, uh, it will load up uh, my Bluemix dashboard for my organization uh, and my space here with my application running in it. So we see we have uh, an application called mean-rjbaxter-1232 here. Uh, and this is the application that was deployed when I click the deploy to Bluemix button. So if I click that, uh, I'll be brought to the application dashboard, which shows me all the usual information. We see that the uh, uh, Mongo Lab service was automatically created for me and bound to my application that my application is using. Um, so uh, uh, I have uh, access to this, this Mongo Labs uh, uh, service now, and all my data is being stored in, in that database here. Um, you also see that I have a, a Git URL that was automatically created. Uh, for me for uh, my application. So if I click on this, I'll be brought out to IBM DevOps Services. I see uh, all the code from my from my project here has been imported here, including the README with all the instructions. Um, and in addition to that, um, I have a build and deploy pipeline set up. So if I click build and deploy, we see a build stage as well as a deploy stage. And these are all pre-configured for me. So I can see that I don't have to do any work here. All this is all set up for me, and I don't I don't need to worry about how to set up a build and deploy pipeline myself. It's already done. So at this point, all I have to do is uh, clone this Git repo, and I can start making changes to the code and pushing that those changes back uh, to this Git repo, and my build and deploy pipeline will automatically run and get my and we'll see my changes uh, reflected here in my MeanJS application running on Bluemix. Um, so that's it for my one-click demonstration of how to get a mean application running in Bluemix. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and happy coding.